got my tea here. I'm gonna pop on a spritz of perfume to feel a bit more refreshed. And we're ready to get started. Hi everyone, my name is Helen. I'm a style creator based in Sydney. And today I'm going to be doing the Majuri Stacking Challenge, where I'll show you how I style and layer my favorite pieces into three different looks. So sale is coming up, and this will be the best time of the year to pick up any of the pieces that might catch your eye in this video. One of my favorites is this heirloom ring which is just a gorgeous statement piece. And of course, you can never go wrong with diamond stacking rings. Something else that will forever be a classic is something like this anchor chain, which you'll see me style throughout this video. Make sure you sign up to Majuri's email list if you like early access to the best sale of the year. First up, we've got a day out exploring in Sydney. We started off with a statement hoop earring, which is always a favorite of mine. And then we're gonna go for a little stud to contrast the chunkiness of this earring. For the necklace, we're gonna do this anchor chain necklace. I just think that the links hit the light so beautifully, and this alone I think will be the perfect combination with this look. Let's see if I can do this without a mirror. For my rings, we've just gone for a very sparkly but dainty little set. And here they are up close. So this is what we've got for the finished look. Next up, we've got a brunch date. So I'm gonna wear this cute sweater and jean combination and I'm gonna keep the same little stud from before but I've changed my earrings from these chunky versions to these hoops instead. I'm gonna wear the same necklace chain as before and then I'm just gonna add this initial pendant to the family. Moving on to the ring stack, I feel like at brunch you can always see your hands. So I'm gonna do a chunkier ring on one hand and then once again, I'm just gonna layer some of the really sparkly little rings on the other. I love that when you layer up on dainty jewelry, you can kind of change it around all the time, just depending on how you feel. We've gone for a couple of different rings this time, and you can see that it's so easy to mix and match these, and everything just goes together really well. This is the finished combination for outfit two. Here are the earrings, the necklaces, and then we've got the rings. Let's talk about a day trip to the winery. I've gone for a top that is simple, but it's got lots of nice detailing, which I like. For the jewelry, I'm gonna swap out the earrings for a smaller hoop. When I know I wanna do more of a necklace stack, I tend to go a little bit more simple on my earrings. For the necklaces, I decided to keep the anchor chain, and I've also added this longer chain with a pearl pendant. I really like the way the pearl looks with this top, so that's my necklace stack done. Because I've got a more neutral outfit, I'm gonna go for a bit of color in the rings. So I'm gonna opt for this gorgeous garnet ring. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit more sparkle because I feel like when you're at a winery, your hands are always on show because you've got a glass in the hand. So we're once again, opting for a little bit of sparkle in this outfit. So this is what I've got for the ring stack. I like to keep it asymmetrical, so I've got it on the third and fourth finger here, and then the second and fourth on this hand. Those are my three looks for this challenge. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye for now. I'm already undressed, so all I need now are some plans. <laughs>